Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on the Iron Claw, a wrestling movie uh, starring Zac Efron and I think Michael Shannon? I'm not sure. Kind of looks like Michael Shannon and the dude from The Bear. He's in it too. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for... Eh, is that Michael Shannon? Can't tell. Uh, thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 12. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So this is based on a true story. No, I don't think it's him. Never mind. Um, I'm not familiar with it, but there were three brothers. They were all they were they were called the Iron Claw, or at least one of them was, and they uh, they wrestled, and the father pushed them, and pushed them, and pushed them a little too hard, and one of the brothers died, I think, and then uh, eh, it's about their lives, the rise and fall, another rise and fall movie. So uh, Zach. No, that is not Michael Shannon. Who is that? Um, but Zach Efron, man, he's jacked. He's jacked for this. Doesn't even look like himself anymore. Um, takes place, I guess, in the early 80s. I, I think that guy's supposed to be Ric Flair. So, um, sounds cool. December 22nd, weird time to release a wrestling movie. Zach Efron, Jeremy Allen White, Harris Dickinson, Mara Turney, Stanley Simmons with... Holt McKenney and Lily James. I only know Zach Efron and the guy from The Bear. But eh, it looks cool, I guess. Um, you know, just looks like the rise and fall, right? So you got this family. They're into wrestling in the early days when it's new and, uh, you know, coming up. And uh, the sons are all jacked and they all want to wrestle together and they love it uh zach efron's the main character he falls in love uh second act they're all wrestling together she marries him they have family wrestling's going great uh, they're making money uh, but the father's pushing them too hard eventually i i, I guess one of them dies I, I don't know why and then um they uh he has kids and he has to get over the death of his brother and his father's pushing him too hard and then what's the ending i don't know whatever happened i assume they uh you know we get a credits roll at the end the father is making all kinds of money maybe not sharing it with them and they get into fights you know there's a scene where he's like uh you know you ha your job is to wrestle and uh in the end uh family wins out I'll say, I'm not sure if it's a positive ending or a negative one. Kind of hard to discern from the trailer. But if you're into wrestling, I'm sure this will be cool. I'm not super into it. I mean, it looks fine. It's not the kind of movie I would go see on the big screen. But if I was into wrestling, maybe. Um, but, you know, wrestling fans are pretty... They're pretty uh, into the, 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 the actual lore of what really happened. So if this movie is inaccurate in a big way, they could they could uh, uh, trash it online. So I hope you're following it the way the fans would like to see it. You know, let's see if there's a write up here. Oh, good. Need to know, need some more info from writer director. Sean Durkin, and starring Zac Efron, Jeremy Allen White, I think that's the bear guy, Harris Dickinson, Mari Tenney, Stanley Simmons, blah, 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 blah. Mm, that's about it. Sean Durkin is the director and the cast. And don't really say anything else. Um, so, yeah, it's a rise and fall movie. Uh, Zac Efron's hair style is pretty funny. Kind of looks like Prince Valiant. Um, so, yeah, this is early 80s. Early 80s, late 70s. Um, so, in that respect, I think it will, won't will be a woke movie. So, that, that's a positive. Um, you know, I, I like The Wrestler with Mickey Rourke, so maybe I would like this movie. I would. This is more of a rental for me. Um, the reason I would like it is not so much the wrestling, it's just the time period, because I remember it. I lived it. 
and um, yeah, I don't, and maybe seeing some of the wrestlers I'm sort of vaguely familiar with, like uh, like Ric Flair, I'm sort of vaguely familiar with him. Um, so yeah, this is the early days when they're 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 kind of doing their personas, but the personas aren't big yet, um, and they're probably doing a lot of sketchy things. Here here he is, ice in his leg. Here they are training. Um, yeah, no, it's not Michael Shannon. It's a guy who sort of reminds me of him. It's funny, there are a lot of actors that kind of have a similar look. That's kind of why some of them get cast. Uh, but I think Michael Shannon could have fit into that role perfect. And I don't know why I keep talking about him, but there you go. The guy who's uh, Ric Flair, he kind of looks like Ric Flair, I guess. <laughs> they couldn't get the original Ric Flair. I think he just died. Um... Or at the very least, he's very old. Um, so yeah, you don't want to mess with the uh, Ric Flair fans. They they'd be very upset if you portrayed him. Uh, I think in a negative light. But is it good? I don't know. I don't have a good sensibility of the wrestling world to really give you a good opinion. But I mean, it looks fine. It looks like the you know the music's right. The the time period's right. Seems to be about family. Uh, the bear guy is considered a pretty good actor. Zac Efron, he's okay. He's getting better. I think he's getting better. I kind of liked him in the uh, the Beer Run movie. Um, but that's about all I liked of his. He kind of just sort of paid his new dues. He was like famous, but he wasn't. He wasn't like super, like. Um, you know his 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 roles. He always seemed to get roles that were kind of big movies, big Hollywood popcorn movies, but like didn't do well. Like uh, Bad Grandpa, I think was one of them with Robert De Niro, and then he was in that movie with uh, Seth Rogen, where he's the frat guy and the frat guy and the the couple live next door and they war. And then they did a sequel to that movie, believe it or not. So he's kind of been playing those roles for a while. And this seems like a more serious role. Might give him a chance to do some real acting. So, um, and he's in shape for it. God, these guys look jacked. So, uh, ladies, may maybe you would like the movie. At least you get to see some beefcake. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base take. If you can find a more base take, I say take it. I will be at the Night Market in Laurel Springs, New Jersey tonight from 5.30 to 7.30. God, what time is it? i, I got to start to get ready. Um, then on Thursday, I'm going to Avalon Public Library for a 6 p.m. talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devil. Then on Friday, I'll be at 2nd and Charles in Newark, Delaware for the bookstore signing there. And on Saturday, I'll be at the Scary Stories Fest in Asbury Park. It's a big week for me. Hope it's a big week for you. We'll see you in the next one.